Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up the Folium emulator on your iPhone and you can also do this on iPad. So this finally allows you to play 3DS games. It does support some other platforms as well like Game Advance and just regular DS. I recommend the Delta emulator, just this one in the top left for that. Got a separate video covering that, link in the description if you are actually, you know, interested in all platforms. But for 3DS, this is the emulator so far, you know, to use and it works pretty darn well. So again, one caveat, this is paid right now. It is $4.99 in the UK and a free version might come out either with this maybe ad supported or just you know you'll just become free or there might be some other emulator that comes out as well but as of now this is paid so if you go to the app store also this video does not condone piracy this is for educational purposes only search for folio and it's this one right here from jared norwell and just click the download button And if you just let it just go through the process of downloading it from the app. So this is just really insane. Like the, the amount of, you know, emulators we're getting. Now we've got, you know, Delta. We've got Same Boy. I need to do some videos on Same Boy as well. We've got Gamma. Uh, you know, there's RetroArch. And there's other emulators as well natively from the app store because of their you know policy changes you know Nintendo's still being strict around certain things but it's they're here and they're, you know they're not going away okay so I'm just gonna move this over with the rest of the stuff just because we'll need the files as well so another application optional but I recommend downloading it is iZip iZip I can't show you where to get the AES keys, which is like, you know, keys for the, you know, the BIOS, uh, you know, not for the BIOS, but you can think of them like, you know, BIOS files as you have for the emulators. Um, I can't show you where to get them all wrong, but I'll show you how to set it up once you've got them. And so yeah, download iZip. The reason I can re recommend downloading iZip, a lot of the games that you get may not be in regular zip format. If it's in regular zip format, files that's built in the file manager built into your iphone and ipad will, will handle it but if it's something like dot 7 z you will need to use a third party tool like izip and i'll show you that in a second so if you launch your folio the you know a few things are missing the only thing we're concerned about is the nintendo 3ds section which is citrus or no, citrus i should say and grape which is grape is for ds we're not concerned about that but you can set those files up as well if you want to and so if you go to citrus if you just click the a a e f click import and if you import it i've got it if i just go to the root of my manager it's on my iphone it's on my Chrome folder because I've downloaded it. Click AES, it imports it, good to go. If you click the free DOS, you can reset. You can change the core. New 3DS is fine. You can also change the region as well. I recommend leaving it as default because, I mean, auto because you'll figure it out itself. You can do shaders. Uh, you can do async pre you know, presentation. This is another thing. If you go on shaders, it says use shader GJIT, which is just in time. In the just in time compilation, App Store doesn't allow that as of yet so performance you will vary so you will then depending on you know what's supported and what's not a you know you some games will have will have the best performance but that's just something to bear in mind and in audio you can change the audio emulation i honestly recommend leaving it all as default and you can change the input device as well okay so now that you've got that you want to import your game for that if I show you, if we go to files, if we go to on Chrome, and another thing to bear in mind, if you go to Folium, go to Citrus, if you go to Sys Data, the AE, AES keys get imported, so you can delete them. They're not big, they're just a small text file, but you can, you know, delete it so you just don't have files randomly in different places. Now, if I show you the game that I've got, and it's New Super Mario, if I delete the folder that I had extracted previously, it's in a .zip. If I click it in my file manager, it will extract it. And this .3ds file is what I need. However, if it's in some other format like .7z, I'm going to show you how to actually 
extract that. So you would go to iZip. Once you've downloaded it, you would go to Document Browser. You would, again, you know, if you click Browse in the bottom right, you go to where it is. So you're probably on my iPhone, probably using Chrome, click Chrome, and then you would select the dot, the dot .zip. This now imports it into, uh, in, into iZip. Now you say, would you like to unzip all files? Click OK. It's going to say, please wait. It's got to wait a few moments. Once it's, once it's done that, there's a folder there now. We're all good. Now you can actually switch back to regular file. This is just if it's like a DOS 7.0 RAW or some other you know file format. Go on my iPhone, I zip, and it's there right there. And you would that's what you would use to import. Now that's it. Now if you go to Folian, click plus in the top right, it says you can import a game. There's other file formats supported, but therefore other games, you know, other consoles like DS and Game Boy Advance. So if we click import and again, go to browse on my iPhone. So you could go to iZip. Mom's going to go to Chrome, New Super Mario, click the 3DS. So you can import multiple at a time. Fortunately, you can't add a folder as of yet and just have it, you know, re refer to that folder and any new files that come into it, it just updates accordingly, maybe even have a refresh button in the emulator. I don't think I've seen that yet at all. So I feel like that might be an Apple limitation, but you know, comment down you know, below to let me know if, if I'm you know correct in the hypothesis. Click open, it imports it. There we go. Another thing to bear in mind, if I go to files, it's in, so ignore iZip. So I've imported it from Chrome. The game is here. If I go back and I go to Folium, and I go to Citrus and I go to ROMs, it's also there. So it's, it's literally copied it. So I would recommend deleting the original one from you know your Chrome folder or wherever it is, because this was half a gig. You don't want half a gig files just littered about on your iPhone, because that'll take up a lot of space real quickly. So go back to Folium, and now the the only option you know option for this is if you click the three dots, is delete. Again, this will just delete the copy of it, not the original one that you copied over, if you still have them. I recommend getting rid of it anyway. So if you click the game, and here we go. So this is the bottom screen that's appearing right now. So you might think, why is the top screen not appearing and only the bottom one? That's just the way it is in this particular game initially. And I can use the touch screen to actually interact with it, which is good. It's a good feature that they've you know made sure they've added and all the touch controls are at the bottom as well. And I'll have separate videos covering how to set up controls like PS4, PS5, you know, maybe even Switch, Joy-Cons as well. And if I click the settings icon, let me show you this really simple. In the bottom right, there's only pause and stop and exit. There's, there's nothing else. It's, it's, it's a very sim, simple em, emulator so far. And if I click, and I'm just to, yeah, if I go to solo play, Go to new game. Just waiting for this to go through and then I'll show you some gameplay. But this game I've tested pretty well. It works really well. So I'm going to test some other games like Mario Kart. I know that's a big one. What else is there? There's Super Mario 3D World. That's a big one. That's a lot more intense. And so we'll see how that goes. So I'm running an iPhone 15 Pro Max. You know, if, if you're running something a lot older, your, you know, your mileage will vary. But okay, so here we go. So I'm using the D-pad to move left and right with Mario on the map. Just pressed A, so I'm going to go into the game now. And now I can move left and right. Pause it with the plus. Again, it's just pretty simple stuff. And you can literally rotate your phone as well and get it into landscape mode if you would like to. Also, just bear in mind, if you look in the middle of the D-pad and the face button, there's like a little circle. And now the rest of it's gone greater. If you keep that pressed, you can drag that and that emulates the joystick. And obviously with the, the DS or the 3DS never had a right joystick initially it was like an attachment so certain games supported it and i'll just like i said just 
show you a little bit of gameplay. So yeah, there's a bit of, you know, lagginess here and there, but overall I think, uh, considering it doesn't support uh, JIT, it works pretty darn well. That's it. That's all I wanted to show you. You would usually have sound just because I'm recording. I haven't, you know, put any sound on there. And that's how you set up Folium to play 3DS games. If you have any questions, if you're, you know, you know, have any questions around, you know, the files that you need, or you know, the processes, the steps, uh, you know, how to use ROMs, etc. You know, feel free to let me know. Just comment down below. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, and let me know what you know games you would like me to test, and I'll check them out. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.